Hello and welcome back to Volumes. Uh, my name is Tom Gibson and before this episode runs I'd like to just say thank you very much to everyone that's been listening and downloading and liking and all that stuff. Thank you very much. I think I say that a lot throughout the, this episode. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. But really, honestly, thank you very much. Like, it means a lot that people are actually taking the time to, like, listen to these full episodes. It's really awesome. Um, but yeah, in today's episode, it's kind of different from usual. It's not an interview. It's more like uh, just a conversation with my friend Ewan. Um, it's different kind of concept or, or a different format. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, here's the episode. So, Ewan. Happening. I'm going to talk for a bit and you're going to have to just listen. You okay. right with that? I... Do you want to... Okay. Welcome to the podcast. Do you want to listen to the rules first or do you want to listen to me talk for a bit? Both of them are just me talking for a bit. Both. Which, both. which one first? Which one first? You talk. To talk for a bit okay so before we jump right in i want to just quickly thank everyone that's viewed the podcast so far because um i mean it might seem like not that big a deal to like everyone else but to me it actually does mean a lot i want to i want to be completely honest transparent here um quite cute no i mean i'm just i'm just trying to be transparent with the viewers see uh We've, we've created one, two, three, four, five, six, six episodes all around an hour each and we've got 21 subscribers and I mean that might not mean that much, like it's it's not that big a deal but when you look at like how long, like people have sat and watched an entire episode, like an entire hour, like of that's you. crazy. Well it's not just me, it's me and the people who I'm talking to and it's not me at all if anything, it's the people who I, who I am talking to. Because if it was just me, I know people wouldn't watch. And I'm okay with that. Mm. And I'm not doing it for me. Well, I kind of am doing it for me, but not in that sense. I'm doing it because I enjoy learning about other people. And it's nice that other people like learning about other people just as much as I do. And I've sat and watched a full episode and learned about like eating disorders or what it's like to live with Crohn's or um, like other stuff that we've done, like living straight edge or becoming vegan and all that kind of stuff. Like that's that's awesome that people have sat and watched that and yeah. i mean yeah i think it's i think it's brilliant so thank you to start this off thank you very much for watching and listening uh the next thing i want to quickly cover is that it's not on or it was on apple uh podcasts yeah. like the app it was on it it's not anymore it's going to be on it again so yeah I'm going to be on Apple. You're going to be on Apple. I feel so, uh, the plan is to get it back up there and get it all, all good and stuff. Um, and it probably won't be on uh, SoundCloud anymore. So your two places you'll be able to get it is Apple Podcasts and YouTube. Uh, YouTube will be like the full video one, kind of like if you're watching this right now, you're probably watching it on YouTube. Um, maybe put on... Uh, Facebook as well, maybe. Probably not. Maybe like Probably. a highlights reel. I don't maybe, know. maybe not for me. Maybe not. Oh, what? Maybe not a thumb here. You never know. Uh, you might make this famous. Also, <laughs> a hundred and fifty-eight views is the highest one of the episodes got. I just want to like cover this again. Like, thank you. One hundred and fifty-eight people have watched that. Like, that's crazy. Like, it could be the same guy watching one hundred fifty-eight times or whatever. But it was me. That's 150 hours of content I that you've no consumed. Life. Like, thank you. Um, yeah. So thank you for that. Thank you for for watching. Uh, thank you for understanding that it's not on iTunes or not iTunes, but Apple Podcasts. But it will be back there. That'll be like the main place you can listen to it. Um, also, like if you want to listen to it there, it's a free app. It's literally just on the App Store by Apple. You can just download it listen what about spotify uh no it will not be on spotify spotify yet spotify 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 and the swore you can okay takes us to our rules you can swear you in it is okay to swear okay. you just can't swear a lot because youtube has this funny thing where they're like like treating people a bit funny when they swear a lot so you if i had to say this to anyone i'm gonna have to say this to you you need to bring the swearing down a bit kind of hard for me i know um rule number two is can't bring up people that you know and and 
like maybe maybe you can tell stories if they're kind of vague and people wouldn't know and you use like a fake name that's cool but uh if you use like straight okay. up people's names you're gonna have to be banned from the podcast and i don't want to do that wow i'm like and you won't be banned from the podcast yeah um so yeah that's basically the rules there's no more rule you and don't need worry it's not that big a deal um i think i've covered everything i want to cover um in terms of that kind of stuff it only took up eight minutes that's all right <clears throat> so yeah wow you're good at this yeah is this you cutting down swearing you just cut down all words yeah you just don't say anything now pretty much so you you're talking to me i want to i want to jump right into this uh, and say how are you tired you know just a bit tired yeah okay usual me Yoon is not being interviewed, just so you know. Me and I'm Yoon not interested in, in have, well, well, I mean, I agree. Um, we've come up with an idea where we're going to just talk about stuff. And we're going to let this, like maybe we'll do it like weekly. We'll upload it every Friday or something. And we're going to let this become whatever it wants to become. Like there's no... Like, unlike the interviews, which are obviously just interviews, we're talking about interesting people in interesting places and situations, stuff like that. That's going to be nothing like that. That's going to be whatever it becomes. So, like, if one day we're like, yeah, we need to bring on 12 snakes, that's that'll be it. We'll yeah. just bring on 12 snakes. Can we not? We'll probably not do that. Yeah. Well, I wonder if we get, like, a full petting zoo in here. We could. We literally, we have the space to do that. With, and With cows. There's literally the facilities. That could be a thing. Can I pet a cow? Uh, on this? Uh-huh. Yes. S- stay tuned for next episode. <laughs> um, it opens to be a cow. <laughs> a cow. How small do you think a cow is? A baby cow. You think you could hold a baby cow? A baby baby cow. You could not hold a baby baby cow. No. No one. Like, like a baby sheep. I mean, people can hold a baby cow, but like we couldn't hold a baby cow. They're big. I got a lamb. You could hold a lamb, yeah. We could probably get one of them. Okay. Um, a goat. You could probably hold a big goat. They're quite small. Yeah. Well, maybe not like a big, big goat. What about big sheep? We're going on a tangent here. We need to stay... But I want to talk about sheep. Is this what you wanted to come on and talk about? Just no, sheep? Yeah. Um. So, yeah. If you have any suggestions for what this should become, let me know. Also, if you want to be one of those people that are interviewed and you want to talk about something that means something to you or something that's relative to you, if you're in a weird situation or if you have something interesting you think you can talk about, just let me know and I'd love to have you on. I think it'd be really awesome and we could talk about that. I'll be here too. Yoon, Yoon can be here too. So, yeah. boom. Tom let has me know. to get another mic though. Uh, I've got another mic. We're ready for the, the three setup now. Oh, good. Do, right. do you? you yeah. One? Ooh, I feel all privileged. So, you in? It's happening. What, what are we starting with? Have you got notes? No. What you want to talk about? You've not come prepared at all. Have got, you got notes? I have notes. Well, actually, I had one thing I wanted to talk about. Tell me. Tell me more. Vegan KFC. Vegan KFC. Yeah, I've heard about such. There's I don't no actually want to talk about it. I just seen KFC on Twitter. Oh. Like, I was excited there. I thought you wanted you, to talk you, about if it. If you want to talk about it, talk about it. I, mean, I, I don't, don't know about it. I don't know that much about it. Either. I just know that there's that's a thing that's coming soon. Yeah. I mean, we could do a full taste test when it comes out. It'd probably be like horrid. I think it'll be good. I don't know. I've got the feel. The best bit of KFC is not the meat; it's the <laughs> batter. So like, yeah. it's that crispy uh, secret recipe stuff. So I think it'll be good. It's the same with McDonald's, but. The best thing about McDonald's is everything on the burger. So I just opposed to the burger. Opposed yeah. to the burger. Right. Try a vegan burger from McDonald's and it could give you a clap. Um so Ewan, um I was just I spent a week well not really a full week. I you went You left to, me for a week. I, I went to Moldova, right? You left me to go to Moldova. I did. I'm sorry, Ian. Didn't get to go. Do you want to hear about it? Do you want to hear what I got up to? Yeah. Okay. Tell me. So, I mean, like, I feel like this is where this entire episode is going to end up. We're just going to talk about Moldova the entire time. Probably. Because you didn't come prepared with notes. Um, 
But yeah, I went to Moldova. Moldova, right. So do you understand the geography of what's going on there? Because it's like really confusing. Moldova is like in between kind of Ukraine, Poland. It's Not Poland, but yeah. It's Moldova is between Ukraine and Romania. But okay. I went to a place called Transnistria, which is within Moldova. Mm-hmm. But as a full country that's just not recognised by the rest of the world. Does that okay. make any sense? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. How does that make any sense? That's so know. strange. Does it have a flag? It has a flag. It has its own currency. It has its own president. It has its own like full political system. It has its own police. Its own military. Everything. But it's not recognised by any other country. Really? Yeah. Even Moldova? Moldova ha- has literally engulfed it. So it's like Moldova. Indeed. Not invaded because there is a border and the border was really weird to get through because the only airport in that kind of area mm-hmm. is within Moldova. So you go to Moldova to Kishnov, the capital. Uh-huh. You then get like a taxi or whatever. We went with Andrew, who I went with, uh, granddad mm-hmm. and his friend <laughs> <laughs> and his car through the border. And we have to get out and like get like a little, it's like a, temporary passport ba- basically what to get right um and then we went through the border to uh Tiraspol, which is the capital of transnistria but it's all within moldova technically right so like if you look at a map it just says moldova it doesn't say transnistria right i'm gonna apple map that I'll p- we'll put it up on the screen now we want because we can't be bothered editing but yeah, so it makes very little sense. It's very confusing. Um, Moldova, Moldova, Moldova. What the fuck? I you, swear. you can swear, you and it's okay. fine, but you just can't oh. swear a lot. Okay. Where did my pen go? Wait, there's a place called Bender. We drove through Bender, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that puts my humour. All right, okay. All right, okay. Is it? Is it that place? That's Tiraspo, yeah, so that's where we stayed. Oh, right, okay. So. It's like there's no border, there's no map to tell you. Yeah, there's no border on the map. It doesn't tell you where Transnistria is at all. Right. I don't even think Transnistria is even labelled on a map. It's really strange. But yeah, we went to Transnistria, which is where Andrew's grandparents stay. Right. And Tiraspo, the capital. Um, so yeah, do you have any questions? Like, before I just start spilling my guts? Um... Is it like Soviet? Yeah, good question. So I don't really remember the exact history involved. It is confusing, so you can't blame me for not knowing. But basically, uh, it was all USSR. Okay. Um, and then when the Iron Curtain came down. Good, good like analogy. <laughs> thank you. Or when the Berlin Wall came down or whatever. Uh, I think Moldova got like independence uh-huh. from Russia, uh, but for some reason Transnistria didn't. Well, they did, but they they kind of got like s- kind of like stolen from right. Moldova, and then in like nineteen ninety six, Moldova. Am I boring you? <laughs> yes, I am really tired. <laughs> okay. Moldova and Transnistria went to war. Right. But it was kind of like a cold war. No one really... Like, it wasn't like... A little bit of tickling and kind of like... Yeah, basically. <laughs> you're, you're a boob. Name calling, a, yeah. yeah. That's okay. pretty much what it was. But I think there was about 100 people died in total. So I, there was fighting, but it just wasn't as drastic as like a full-blown two-country war. Yeah. Um, And then there, there's been a ceasefire since... 1998 i think right but they're technically still at war i was born then (gasps) i was born in december then um yeah so yeah send me uh send me good stuff send them p.o box and the link in the description oh my god um can i buy you a dildo sure okay um i'm obligated to use it yeah. Then I'm fine. Nah, that's okay. I don't want one. Um, yeah. What was I saying? I totally lost my train of thought. They went to war. It was a ceasefire. 
technically they're still at yeah. war. Yeah, so I think they're technically still at war. Like I think that's like what Wikipedia labels all as, or like mm-hmm. when people talk about it. Um, I think. Don't quote me on any of this. I went there, but I'm not a like historian. I'm not a historian of the area. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that is that's my my full deal there. It's did a bit you, confusing. Did you see like Soviet stuff? Um, tanks in the street and oh, okay, tanks in the street. That's a good one. Uh-huh. In Tiraspol, they have the first tank that Russia used to fight the Nazis during World War II. So it was like the first tank that went in a battlefield that right. was controlled by Russia. And they've just got that as like, look at us, we are power. Have a tank. Yeah, we have a tank. Yeah. And people just claim it. Like, really? just get up. Like, I've got tons of photos, like, photo, 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 of me up on a tank. Uh, also, Lucy tried to claim the tank and she fell off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should also add, there it was me, my girlfriend, Lucy, and the our friend. One. Yeah, the one that was in episode one, if you haven't watched that channel. I will say. Um, and, uh, and our friend Andrew Hollis, who, has, who was born there and left there when he was about 10 years old to come here. Um, so we went back over to see his grandparents, and that's kind of like what the they full situation They didn't invite was. me. You got invited. You didn't come. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm explaining it to you, okay. to make it feel like you were there. So yeah, any more questions? Oh, Soviet stuff, yeah. So tank, yes. Um, there were lots of statues of Lenin. So like Lenin is like the man over there. He's like looked mm-hmm. over quite fondly. Um, but this place isn't run by Russia anymore. Like it's kind of like mm-hmm. Andrew has a Russian passport. Right. Only because like, I think Moldova won't give like there's kind of like a beef between Moldova and Transnistria like in Transnistria everyone speaks Russian but in Moldova everyone speaks Moldovan and Moldova's trying to trying to get away from all that Russian stuff like but is Moldovan probably just like how it is it and everywhere there what do you mean well it's kind of like Balkans aren't they all speak the same language but it's, it's like yeah it's, it's basically just so uh, they all speak some type of russian but yeah it's all kind of it's like moldovan Scottish and english it's like ukraine scotland poland you're exactly right so Mold- Poland's England, like. moldova speak moldovan which is a combination between ukrainian and uh romanian right but ukrainian is about 50 percent russian as mm-hmm. far as I've been told. So they basically speak Russian to yeah. some degree. So a lot of the words overlap. And also, everyone there speaks Russian. Everyone in uh, Moldova do speak Russian as well, mm-hmm. like full Russian. They Did speak you learn Russian. Russian? I learned da. Da. Which means yes. Da. Dom, which means house or home. Uh, what else did I learn? Da. As in like, your da sells everyone. Da. Yeah, and Dom as in Tom, but with a D. Dom. <laughs> da Dom. Da Dom. Da Dom. Uh, I learned, I'll, I'll remember like later. I can't, I can't think right now. What else Should I take notes? Should I take notes? Should I take notes? Oh yeah. Should, I didn't know you were going to ask me these questions. Any more mm-hmm. questions? Got any more questions? Keep them coming. Not, not really. I can't. Are you not interested by the culture? Yeah, right. Tell me about the culture. What was the food like? What the food, it? right. Tell me food. The food, on on day one, we ate with Andrew's grandparents. We uh-huh. ate porridge. It was very good. I like porridge. I don't actually. You don't like porridge? Nah. It was very good. I enjoyed it. Um, they make their own jam. Um, don't like jam. You, yeah, good thing you didn't come. Like... Everything you you I don't think you would have liked any of the food. Nah. It was all I don't know how to explain it, but it was all it was really good by the way. I enjoyed the food. Yeah, go ahead. Was it a McDonald's? There wasn't there wasn't a McDonald's in Transnistria, but there was in Moldova, and we did go in Moldova. Um, Moldovan McDonald's. Right. No, I need to explain something. Right. Moldovan McDonald's was so strange. So I got uh, like a double cheeseburger or something. I got something I knew. Uh-huh. Just to like see if it tastes the same. Um, their ketchup isn't ketchup; it's like a relish, uh-huh. which was pretty good. Um, and they don't do fries there. 
they do like uh, potato wedgies. Do they? Or like this kind of like fry box thing, which is like, they're kind of like fries and they're covered in this relish and uh, what else? Oh, and onions. Right. But that's the only like fry based or like potato based things you can get. You don't so get, get like chips. You don't get chips, nah. You don't get like fries. So strange. Fuck that. Um, and I'm another thing is, what? I'm fucking another one. I know, right? I just fought twice. It was, it was so. It was so strange. Um, everything was covered, like not everything, but there was so many things in the McDonald's that had prawns on it. Yeah, like prawn burgers. Prawn. Seriously. Yeah, you could just buy some prawns from McDonald's. <laughs> it was so weird. You get it as like a side. <laughs> Also, they had like, see how like when you go to the machine, or not the machine, like the touchscreen thing, and all you right. go through it, and there's like all the options. One of the options was just desserts, right? I think we have desserts as well, but when you click on it, it's just cake. Like, really? like 17 different types of cakes you could get from McDonald's. It was mental. Moldova's um, like landlocked too. Moldova is landlocked. So, where are shrimps? Oh yeah, I never thought about that actually. Why are they it's like? totally landlocked. Why is shrimp such a big deal? If you go to the seaside and, and then you get a shrimp, Scotland, yeah. there's like, what, a shrimp? Yeah. Like, no, no, really, but... <laughs> but thanks for offering me. Thanks for offering me. They've got over and they're like, give me a shrimp. Like, That's okay. so weird. Like a shrimp. I honestly never Moldovan thought of that. Um, <laughs> Moldovan shrimp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, food. Food, food. food, food was pretty good. Lots of uh, cheese, lots of bread. I like that. Cheese and bread. Mm-hmm. Cheese, bread and mm-hmm. jam, that's a thing. Uh, they put sour cream in their soup. That's like a normal thing to do there. It's pretty good. Uh, wait, it was, yeah, sour really? cream, yeah. It was sour cream. Um, it's actually not that bad. It's like, it's weird though, because cause the soup's hot and sour cream, as soon as it hits the plate, it curdles. So like when you mix it in, you've just got like blobs of sour cream, curdled sour cream. But it is pretty good. Uh, no. I know it sounds gross. No, um, I don't know if that's the thing that not to offend Moldovian people. No, it's like all of that kind of area, by the way. Yeah. Like Romania do it, uh, Ukraine do it. It's like that entire area of Europe do it. The Balkans. Yeah, Eastern I didn't know Europe. that was a thing. What? Eastern. Europe. Yeah, Eastern, Eastern, the Eastern Bloc. Um, that was like that's a big thing over there. What else? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I don't know if that's the thing that everyone does. So Andrew's grandparents were a bit like uh, unique in the sense that they don't they don't go to restaurants, they don't uh, buy. They're, they're often. Very, like, traditional. Yeah, they're very very traditional. So it's like hard to really gather what the average person does there mm-hmm. when they didn't really do what the average person does. But she made her own tea, which is cool. Um, and what was the tea like? That's you know. We never tried a regular cup of tea. We only tried like her tea, which was like homemade with like, I don't remember all the specifics, but it was like, I don't know, rosemary and I don't know, stuff that you make tea with. Right. I don't know what you make tea with. It wasn't like tea. Yeah. Like make it was all like, uh, what's the word? Like herbal tea or I don't know. It was all good anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It was interesting. It was different. Yeah. Um, did you? Did I want? Did you? Did you? Did you? Eat more food? Like what's like traditional stuff? You know, um, like go to Greece and you get like some varki and all that crap. But borscht, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh-huh. That's probably the most traditional thing we tried. What is that? Soup. And it was pretty good. It's like a vegetable. It's kind of like a vegetable soup. I'm not sure what's mm. all in it, but it was good. And you do put uh, sour cream in that as well. Mm. Um, I had a thing called potatoes French style. I don't know if that's like a traditional thing there, but I did have that. Mm-hmm. It's basically just potatoes covered in cheese and sour cream. It's kind of like a z- lasagna made of potatoes. Um, <laughs> and it has like chicken at the bottom, I think. Is pasta? Oh, Did he eat pasta? No, I don't see no pasta. Corn though. Corn is like a national dish. Everywhere makes corn. Everywhere sells corn. Everywhere like there's corn growing everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I like I ate some corn. I didn't eat that much corn, but corn's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, also like a it must be a traditional thing there because I've never seen this anywhere else. There we had a thing called 
cabbage pie, which is like a sponge cake. But instead of having like jam or cream or whatever you put in sponge cake, yeah. it had cabbage instead. And Andrew and Lucy ate that like it was God's gift. They really? went through slices and slices of that. They loved it. I didn't try it. No, no. <laughs> I, don't, I, I didn't try it through. Uh, I would have tried it, but I think. Oh no, actually, I think I could eat it. I can't remember what the deal was, but I didn't try it. No. How was like eating out at restaurants? We only ate out once because his grandparents made us so much food. It was insane and it was so good. Um, But we ate out once um, in like a place across the street from us. Um, I got like basically an American style dish, like barbecued food and like Mm -hmm. tons of, they got so much food, right? Lucy got like vegan sushi tons of it andrew got something we all got drinks and stuff also quick note everywhere everyone and everywhere has mojitos but they're not alcoholic right like see how we have like iron brews or national drink in a yeah. sense it's not a national drink but you know what i mean they have mojitos everywhere bottled mojitos or glasses of mojitos or like really? cans of mojitos non-alcoholic non-alcoholic meals, meals. just like a, a mint drink basically really? everywhere sells that um and it's so weird because before we went, or wait, on the first night we were there, Andrew was like, here, how good would it be if there was like a Makito based drink that you could just buy, like uh-huh. like cola, right? And then we realised, oh wait, everywhere sells Mojitos, do you know what I mean? Everywhere sells Mojitos. Um, but yeah, so we, Lucy got like a couple of Mojitos or whatever, like these non-alcoholic syrupy mm-hmm. Mojitos. I got, I can't remember, I got a drink, uh, Andrew got a drink, we all got drinks and stuff. And it came to the equivalent to four pounds in total for all of our meals combined. <laughs> it's so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> they use um rubles, but it's not like Russian rubles, it's their own currency. Uh-huh. Um but basically the exchange rates like mind blowing. But you can only so you have to uh, take over euros or dollars or something like that uh-huh, when you go it. and it's get it exchanged over there. But it's crazy. Like mm-hmm mind blowing like yeah. honestly i couldn't i was in disbelief i think in total i spent 50 euros i don't know what that translates to um, all week 50 euros oh yeah week. 50 euros for the entire week and and that was like i was forcing myself to buy stuff like i brought home like hundreds of bags of sweets and i know i, <laughs> I bought uh and chocolate and stuff i bought my mum dad and family like uh, a Rolex like a, a fake Rolex keep in mind a but Rolex a real one still a watch like it had to cost money do you know what I mean it's still made and it still works and like just tons of like hats and stuff just a bunch of junk mm-hmm. just because I could do you know what I mean just because it was so cheap like literally I bought a hat over there and it cost 20 pence <laughs> like how how is that even how is oh, that man. it blew my mind um, everywhere all like the kids or a lot of kids wear fake uh, off-white trackies and stuff like that. Like Gucci. And fake Gucci trackies. But everyone's Gucci. Uh, not everyone's uh, trackies. They all wear right. trackies. Everyone's um, Gucci, bro. Gucci. Also, another thing that I noticed was that... So, like, basically, it seems like everyone's poor, but not in the sense that they can't afford to live. Like, they can afford to live, but that's it. Once they pay off their debts, they don't buy in more than that. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, there's no like wealthy wealth everything well there are but there must they must be mafia or something like that right like i don't want to say nothing nothing right but um there's a shop called like they don't have supermarkets over there they've only got one type of supermarket and it's called sheriff right right but sheriff own everything they own the supermarkets they own the petrol stations they right. own they own the football stadium and it's the second biggest football stadium in like all of russia or something like that um they own everything like you'll see their logo on everything and apparently like they they're probably run by mafia right. so the the actual like crime rate is really low but everything's run by mafia at the same time so it's right, like okay. there's no petty crime but you might get like your fingers chopped off if you do anything out with the norm i don't know right. maybe that's not true but i see there's like some people you see and you're like everyone's driving ladders do you know what i mean uh-huh. the most soviet car ever dirt cheap 
literally I could have bought an Audi over there for a hundred and fifty pounds. A brand like a not a brand new, but a, a second hand A four Audi oh. for a hundred and fifty pounds. Like, and they wouldn't have asked anything. You just buy it and you drive away, and that's it. <laughs> um, everything was cheap and run down and wrecked, uh-huh. except from like the occasional guy who was driving a brand new Porsche or something like that. And it's just like out of place, kind of like yeah, peak. You're you're a big boy in the world. Like there'll be these people in like secondhand clothes and and like or like hand me downs and stuff like that. It's very stereotypical Soviet. Yeah, it does seem not, a bit not to stereotype, but it's very stereotypical. It's almost Russian. like uh, yeah. Russia's probably not even as like Russian as this place is, if that makes right. sense. Um but is it big tower blocks? And oh yeah, big, big concrete kind of tower blocks. Big concrete yeah. tower blocks and kind of mossy, kind of shitty streets and yeah. Well, everyone's clean though. Is it? And also on almost every corner, there's a park for kids to play in because really? they want to keep kids out and like and and stuff like that. So like they Are care the about friendly? what the people friendly. Oh yeah, that's another thing actually. No one smiles. They don't smile. Right. Like, like, people won't look at you and go like, oh, hi, or whatever. But they're probably thinking, oh, look, there's a white boy. No, but apparently Not that's like a the thing, right? They don't, they just don't smile. Really? They, don't, they don't say like, please and thank you, unless they kind of have to. Right. Um, like but I also here, think that's a very Eastern A thing. European thing, yeah. Uh, it's a very Eastern thing. Yeah. Um, which is good. I kind of like it because it's like, no one's being kind of fake with you. Mm-hmm. They're only saying thank you if they need to say thank you and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, but like when when they, someone is happy to see you, they're like way happy to see you. Like Andrew's grand saw her friend that she went to school with mm-hmm. and she was literally like screaming across the road like, hi and how are you? And like smiling and everything. But then she could also like be, I don't know, in the store and you just say thank you. And you wouldn't smile at the cashier or whatever, which is obviously something we do all the time here. And like, I mean, people don't smile at you here either, you know. Well, maybe I'm, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just Working smile. Tesco and then, then you'll tell them. Um, uh, the white woman. <laughs> not not to divulge. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my uh, partake. Also, like, see if you bump into someone here, you say sorry. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean blah, blah. If you bump into someone there, just you just move on. You don't say no. anything. You just keep walking. It's weird, yeah. but in a good way. Um, like when you cross the road here, you wave like, "Oh, thank you for stopping your car uh-huh. and didn't run me down." There, you, they just stop the car. You wave to them, and they're like, "Why did you wave to me? Like, are uh-huh. you an absolute idiot?" Do you know what I mean? Um, did you get lots of kind of we're Not, foreign yeah yeah you, you, like how to put it you're a white boy look yeah like yeah. not enough probably the kids would you get it more was it like adults too no there were adults as well yeah. it's not like they were like why are you here it was more like why are you here uh-huh. <laughs> nothing's here why are you here mm. it was kind of like that they were a bit confused like there's literally no reason to come here why have you come here mm-hmm. um, did you like see the videos of like people like someone from the UK going to Africa, going to this like small yeah. village out of nowhere, and everyone's like, I look at the camera when I do this because <laughs> I opened my mouth really loud. If you're not, you opened your mouth really loud <laughs> if you're listening and not watching. But like, people are like genuinely shocked to see a white person. Is it? Like, I know it wasn't I, quite like that, but I know because they're European, so it's a thing, yeah. That, but I get what you're saying, it was a bit like. Stranger Whoa. danger type. Yeah, like they were, they were surprised. Um, I would be too if I saw you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I don't know if that's a compliment. I'll take it's it as not. One. It's fine. A I'm going to take it as a compliment. You I don't need to explain. I um, we went to Andrew's grandparents' farm. They have like a little farm, so like there was like this thing that basically the government gave people like about a half an acre or uh-huh. a quarter of an acre to farm to like be kind of self sufficient in a in a sense. It's quite good. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um. I think they they bought their neighbouring farm, so they've got like about a half an acre now. Mm-hmm. Um, but the guy across from them, he bought like everybody's area, and he has like a big one, and he lives on it. Right. But he's mental, and when he saw us, he was like, he was excited. He was like, "Oh, like come!" And also, no one speaks English there. Right. So like Andrew's 
Andrew had to translate for everyone because Andrew's grandparents don't speak English either. Right. So he had to translate for everyone. And this guy's like, oh, come in. So we go in and like, he's shown us these animals. He's shown us, he's like, he has these big massive barrels just full of wine and he's drinking it. He's absolutely wrecked. He's, his full family stay there. He's missing a toe, no teeth. He's just like crazy looking. Um, like, I'll put a photo like here. A, like a hillbilly. He's like the hillbilly of, of the yeah. hillbilly of Also, I need to also add, he, he would breed uh, rats. They're called, they're called water rats. And they're about, I don't know, like, but almost two feet, no, maybe not two feet, but a foot and a half tall right. rats that he would eat. <laughs> he would eat them. Eat rats. He would, yeah, they're called water rats. I, there's a name for them, I don't remember. We don't get them here, right? right I'm going to Google that. I want to. See if I you can it. find it, yeah. I I, they just, they look gross they have big rat tails as well but he eats them i mean like where we judge we eat stuff as well but th these are like did you find it what the fuck is that yeah i know right what that what that is literally looks like a, a big fat gerbil a bit, uh, yeah it kind of looks like a guinea pig as well yeah yeah what the fuck um what's so what's weird with his feet <laughs> so <laughs> feet Oh yeah, maybe that's like where, why they stay, or because they stay in water, their feet kind of web, yeah, like man. rats' feet webbing. Um, but yeah, weird, weird species of animals. Um, yeah. Any more questions? Uh, I don't know. Tell me about the farm. Farm was, was there cows. Was there was it? no cows. Yes. Was there sheep? There was no sheep. Oh fuck that. The farm was all like arable land. It was all. Uh, like crops and stuff right. well they're not really even crops just like small batches of vegetables um melon and like is it they, warm huh is it warm it was about 30 degrees every day really yeah it's actually warm down there it's pretty warm yeah I thought it'd be quite cold um and in the winter it gets to like negative five. Oh well to be honest with you it's on the black sea right? so yeah basically. well kind of because it's landlocked but yeah yeah, yeah. Um, that would be warm actually that's where she makes all like the stuff that she makes the tea with right um, what else is there like they make their own jams so that's like stuff they make the jams they grow apples they grow like just a tons of pumpkins mm. some happy flowers. Halloween happy Halloween oh that's coming up we're doing a Halloween special yeah what should we talk about comment below what you think we should talk about on Halloween I know what special. I'll talk about but Okay, Surprise. that's vague and creepy. But yeah, that is... Quite a vague and creepy person. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Wink. Um, Just kidding, I'm not actually like that bad. I'm okay. Normal. Yeah. No? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tell me more. I mean, I think we should maybe... I mean, we've already talk, sp spoke about this for like half an hour, but... We should make a full episode of this. I'm definitely going to talk to Andrew with this on, on like a podcast thing, like a reflections, he called it. Uh -huh. Like instead of saying volumes, it's a reflections because we've been there and we're going to like talk about being there. Uh, um, is you going to do that for when we do stuff? We have plans, apparently. Um. Wait, so yeah, before wait, we move I on to that. I was um, flowing. So yeah. In terms of the, I know I've already kind of explained the format, but yeah, there's still going to be like volumes, the volumes podcast, interviewing people. Andrews isn't really an interview because we're talking about a place we went to together. But yeah, it's the same kind of thing. It's still like can a I be there for that? It. Can I be? I'm sure you can be. Yay. Um, so yeah, that's the plan with that. This here, what's going on here is like its own sort of side project. It's like volumes... 2.0 in a sense so they're still going to be uploaded to the same place they will just be their own like episodes and stuff they just won't be interviews they'll be just talking about stuff mm -hmm. tell us what to talk about we're thinking maybe just like whatever's going on in the world right now is this a news segment do you want to do that do you want to do a news segment we'll do, do you want to see if there's segment. anything interesting we should talk I will, about i will go through twitter's trending page and i will uh make comments on certain things ryan air seat sale that sounds so boring Oldsburg. monday motivation that sounds boring please a woman in five words that's trending apparently that sounds boring yeah. lots of chinese things <laughs> lots of chinese things these are all boring k-pop 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 
Bare en af os helt sælde. Boring. Ja. Nødes, okay, nødes. So, what we should do is we should take notes of these things uh-huh. throughout the week, and then next time we'll have a podcast, we'll talk about them. Uh-huh. Plus other stuff that's going on. But yeah, using your segue from earlier, we are going to, and by we, I mean me and you, and, and also anyone who else is interested, are going to make a, uh, like a somewhat, t- not a TV series, but like a internet series on weird things that exist. Not weird things, but just like things that exist that are interesting. I'm, am I explaining this right? You can get off your phone, focus, help me. I'm Sorry, panicking. I was something about PewDiePie. Um, we're going to make a documentary series, basically. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah. On stuff. On stuff. I uh, don't think we should uh, explicitly say what we're doing yet. Yeah, because the first episode of it is a bit mental. Yeah. Well, not mental, mental, but... But it's uh, probably not something everyone sees yeah. or knows much about. And we definitely don't no, know no. anything about it. If so. you look at me and Tom right now, right? <laughs> and listen to me and Tom right now. We are the worst. What we're going to do is fucking mental mm-hmm. for us, because... We're idiots and <coughs> should so, never yeah. be allowed beyond the, what we're doing. The, we'll probably do like a podcast on that specific thing we're doing yeah, as well. Yeah, like a reflection. Yeah, exactly. So the plan is to have a full uh, documentary series thing that we have like a couple episodes going out a month. It'll be quite serious. Yeah. It'll be short. And yeah. It won't be as like laid back, kind of like we just speak about I'll, whatever. I won't that. be in a, I won't talk. I'll They'll be more linear. They'll follow like specific things. Uh-huh. We've got tons of ideas to do stuff on. We've contacted tons of people. Um, uh, well, Tom's yeah. contacted tons of people. I don't take any interest. Because <laughs> I'm useless. So, but that is the plan. We're going to like make kind of like a documentary thing. Yeah. Um, That'll be fun. Again, if you have any cool ideas for what we should talk about, or not talk about, but like do a documentary on, like a little 10 minute documentary video part of the series thing yeah. on something weird or wonderful or interesting or whatever, Hit let us, us know. Yeah. The fuck up. And we will uh, work on uh, that. Yeah. And then after we do an episode, we'll probably do like a podcast on it, kind of like here's not the to stuff. Not overkill the, like, overkill the topic, but. But it's kind of like interesting how like a behind the scenes kind of thing yeah. where we'll use like some of the footage that we didn't put on it and we'll talk about stuff that you didn't see and stuff like that. Ow. Particularly um, like our feelings towards it because I well, doubt very much your feelings will be maybe shown but mine won't. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be in front of the camera. I'll be yeah. speaking to the people. I'll be, I'll be like, um, what's the word? Like the, ho- not host. I suppose it's kind of like a host, actually. What's that? What's that weird guy? Uh, Louis Fabio. Yeah, Fibble. it's kind of like that. But I yeah. mean, that's quite a compliment if you're calling me that. But uh, well, Louis Fabio is much more handsome and kind of. That's true. He is kind of a sexy bastard. Yeah. Mm. So I'm. I'll. I'll be. I'll. Uh, I'm basically faking him. You're like a fat television. Louis Fabio. Wow. Thank <laughs> you. Your compliments are the kindest, Ewan. Um uh, So yeah, that is that's the plan with that. Um, yeah. it's interesting. I it? suppose that's that's all we need to talk about. That yeah. um, the real question is is what we're going to call it because this is called Volumes Volumes Podcast. Should we call it Volumes TV? Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uncultured was uncultured was the original plan, but it also focused on things that were a bit even more absurd. Uh huh. Um, and but also we might bring back. We might do uncultured. Yeah. But uncultured but, is a bit wacky. A big bit wacky. Yeah, it was. Um, and we actually did kind of start going on that as well. But we, we filmed half an episode of Uncultured. Yeah. But it's kind of not like, to be nasty, but it was a bit shit. It was, <laughs> it was a bit of shit. We need to find the right... Uh, Top, like, right scenario. Yeah, and we need to just... We, we kind of, like, messed up the format, and it wouldn't have worked very well to, like, no. just upload. But now I think we've got it down. We're going to have... Basically, we're going to have podcasts, and we're going to have TV, and that's the full deal. I'm your streaming sometimes. <laughs> I don't think that comes under the same thing, but if yeah, if you want to watch like that, watch me play if you want to watch us play Minecraft, <laughs> you can do that as well. Yeah. Um, if you want to watch me play Minecraft really badly, actually, because I have no idea. And what me shout up. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, I love pink though. That that is also an option. All the links of these things will be in the description. Oh, also forgot to mention big news. We have social medias for these things now. We have volumes, social medias, um, and I'm forgetting what they are. Do you remember what they are? Um, segue to something, you do something. I'm you. Okay, it's just volumes podcast. Yeah. So yeah, on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and even tumblr we have a volumes podcast we have a tumblr we have a tumblr i'm on tumblr you're on tumblr you're so tumblr um we have a hey, we have volumes podcast check when, out remember when tumblr um, banned porn yeah that would have been good one to talk about but that's over now well it's not over now it's still happening but yeah. um it's not relevant anymore all those poor tumblr porn people i don't know what type of people you would what demographic they come under but you know cool people wait you, you like tumblr porn uh i like tumblr <laughs> i've actually never been on tumblr in my fucking I life i like tumblr nah, i don't know tumblr's like a funny social media because i feel like if i go into social media i'll, so I'll sit there and look at like bro. um indie bro um Hitting like indie. just memes and stuff yeah. like that but when Is i go tumblr into even no, nah, when I go into Tumblr, I'll just sit for hours looking at basically nothing. Like, there's nothing to really look at, but I'll still be looking at it. Fanfiction, isn't it? I don't really, I'm not into that business. Um, that is on Tumblr, isn't it? That is, uh, yeah. Can we do an episode where I read to you... Fanfiction. Fanfiction, maybe the most famous fanfiction of all time. Uh, Yes. The Harry Potter ones, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, so that's right, even more okay. exciting. There is a fan fiction, right, about Harry Potter. If you know, you know, right? And you're going to read this thing? I might not read it to you because it's me. We'll get Sarah to read it. Uh-huh, maybe not. But, been what to say, I know something. I'm she nervous. Can, and honestly, you would cry. Actually, right, I'm going to go get it. I'm gonna... um, I don't know if we're ready. Also, we're kind of like hitting our one hour mark. Yeah, we'll go on it. Uh, we'll go one hour and a half, right? Do you want to? Yeah, because I'm here and I will. Okay, if you're if you're ready for jumping into such intensities. Fan fiction. I really should get a, a, a wrote fan function. But... This is why you should take notes because now we need to watch you Google something and that's not interesting, especially not interesting to hear. Um, well, people really should. Um... Um, That's a good train of thought you had there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. people should just deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it the Draco trilogy? No. God. no, my mortal. Yeah, my mortal chapter one. Oh my god, we're not doing this right now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and in current event news. This podcast is going downhill. Has it? Yeah. Right, I'm just going to read the epilogue. Is it an epilogue? I don't really know, right? Chapter 1. Special fans, bracket, get it, because I'm a goth, but goth is spelled M-G-O-F-F-I-K, bracket. My new GF, ooh, not in that way, raven. Blood, bloody tears treble sax for helping me with with um w-i-f that story and spelling you rock are okay <laughs> justin you're that love for my depressing life and um, depressing is spelled d-e-p-r-e-z-i-n-e <laughs> life you rock rock are okay two m-c-r-r-o-x my Chemical Romance rocks. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Why so, that? if you want me to read... I think you should just keep doing it. I think all of it. I mean, or should like, we just save this for a special? There's like 14 chapters, so oh you can imagine. God. It'll be a special. I'll read it for a special. Right? One, Just one full hour of that? Oh, it'll take like... Uh, a day? <laughs> Three With days me reading it, yeah, it'll take like a day, but... You've got to go home and practice that. You've got to yeah, read it over man. and over again. You'll be able to do it mind. Oh, a special. What's this uh, podcast going to be called? Just like... Ewan. 
life update moldova Ewan. and Ewan. harry potter fanfic yeah <laughs> kind of semi plus some other stuff i would write a fan fiction i think i'd be quite good at fan fiction what would you do it on me just you yeah it's me. not really a fanfic then is it unless you're your biggest fan i'm my biggest fan that's fine then it works quite self-indulged so far um you know. that's a, that'd be a good episode <laughs> are you vain are you do you, do you find this is maybe this is a therapy actually this is a therapy session you and are I you i need therapy are you vain should we bring on a therapist oh uh-huh. should we bring on a therapist and learn about ourselves how uh-huh. good would that be i think i should get like a, remember we were going to get a medium oh yeah no that's still happening right i need to find my pen can is you, that happening are can you uh, improvise okay. keep talking about stuff um so when tom left me to um go to Moldova. I spent a week in my room alone playing Minecraft with no friends. Um yeah. Quite lonely. Can I um can I swear? Oh uh, yeah. I was very fucking lonely. Tom's back now so I don't have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. You just wanted to say that you were lonely because I left. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um so yeah. Tom Green and stuff. We should bring on, I forgot what it was. A therapist? A therapist, yeah. Uh huh. Therapist. I think that's how you spell it, right? Yeah, we don't know. Um, a medium. We need a medium. And a medium. That'd be spooky. Spooky shit. Halloween special! Yeah, well, the medium, we're definitely doing the medium, but the medium's gonna be. Oh, I gave it away. It's gonna be a Volumes TV episode. Yeah. Where we go to a thing called... It's kind of uncultured too. We won't, we won't give it away, right? But there's a lot more to it than... Are we doing that? Is that a thing? That... Yeah, we're, we're going to do it, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot more to that than just meeting a medium. It's a bit weird and wacky and that's we're going to make that. Um, We're just sorting out all the, the kinks and that'll be kinky. a thing. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> it might be kinky. It might be. But I think we're going to learn a lot about ourselves in that one. Yeah. So yeah, if you're interested in that, Go to all the social medias, subscribe, or what do you do? Follow. Follow on all the social, gre- social follow, medias, follow. like, all that stuff. We will follow. Um, and, yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Stay, we'll stay tuned on that. We'll upload to that. We should um, get um, a Futures Red. Our what? Our Futures Red? What's that called? Um, a fucking... Fortune Teller? Aye, Fortune Teller. Is that what it's called? Aye fortune teller i think if i got a medium i think i'd cry why wait so if things from my past yeah, that's were what to I'm be brought say. up not to name names i think i would cry um <laughs> just kidding it would be spooky right i'd, I'd creep me out Maybe, oh that's our halloween episode yeah right that's now. what i just said i literally oh. just said halloween special Oh yeah, so you did. So you're watching. You I wasn't like, listening. And I cut, and I cut me going Halloween special. I was. Li- <laughs> and the hand actions and do it. I go. I'm gonna make that a gif. Um, I was listening to Morning Brain talking. Yeah. A, a me fu- uh, what's it called? A fortune teller tells you your future. Uh-huh. And a medium tells you your past. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Just, just wanted to clarify and that. Your history and your family's history. And yeah, and all that, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. Um, mm. Here, in fact, ah, oh, would you want to know about your past, but like have someone tap into your shit? That that like, sounded so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd love yeah. to know. I yeah. think it'd be so well, interesting. You can go to the doctors and they'll tap into your shit. They'll definitely it. do that. Yeah, they that will. happened to In me fact, once. They love that. Oh, do you want to tell the story? Not really. I think we should just have a full uh, episode talking about health and our, and the issues we went through. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I mean, mm. not to like just complain because really, it's we're, well, maybe you can complain. I don't know. I um, can complain. But, I, I mean, I think that'd be quite interesting. I'm a pretty broken person. In fact, that's what's just surpassed our hour. Do you want to start talking about it? Yeah, okay, fine. Ewan. Oh, no. What happened to your lung? It died. It died. Well, it's, it's back, kind of. But, but it, so it, wait, it died once. Let's get into the specifics. Do you know all the details? Yeah, pretty much. Right. So, I mean, like, to fast forward the story... 
Ewan's lung got punctured playing football. I think it was football. I believe it was football. Or that, that was like kind of like when, mm-hmm. when everyone became more transparent and you were like, like right, I need to go to the hospital. For right. like a week, right, I'd been coughing a lot, but like not. This was not summer. 2016? When did we leave high school? I I literally can't tell you. I don't know. We left high school in 17, didn't we? We've been wasting our life ever since then. (laughs) So, um, I'd been like kind of like weird coughing and that. My chest was a bit nippy, but I thought it was like a chest infection in the middle of summer, like whatever. Well, to the end of summer. And um, I. I was like, I woke up one day and I was like, really, really breathless. But like, I thought nothing of it. I'm unfit as fuck. You know what I mean? Fair enough. I'm skinny, you know, I'm handsome and all that, but I'm unfit. I'm kidding, right? Anyway, um, I went out of town in Glasgow. I don't know, day. Every time I laughed, I would cough, take like a heavy coughing fit. Yeah thought nothing of it went and played football that night thought nothing of it got hit in the chest with a ball that floored me i was like cough 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 dying that was fine i could barely fucking breathe but carried on i walked home went to my bed fine right i fell asleep like that instantly um got up in the morning could they breathe what? and my mom was like you need to go to the GP. So I went down to the GP. Right. Walked into GP surgery and like got a wee, what they called, stethoscope. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it so. got that out and she was like, like, boom, my chest, boom, my back. And she was like, you need to go to the fucking hospital. Go. I was like, what? <laughs> you need to go to the hospital, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, get bro, going. Get going. And I was like, what? And then she said, it's called a neurothorax. A neurothorax. Right, right. Lapsed on, it's called a neurothorax. Right. And they're pretty fucking common, not gonna lie. What? Oh, they're really common. Everyone gets them, mainly. I've never had it. Aye. See, if you're like <laughs> tall and skinny and got a fast metabolism. That sounds like me. Yeah. And if you have dark hair, apparently. It's always dark haired boys. No joke. I've got blonde hair somewhere. Right? Yeah, no joke. It's last found my like. Tall, dark-haired boys. Get really? Songs, That's yeah. so specific. So, anyway, she said... Did she explain why? Don't okay. know. It's so like a genetic kind of thing. So, they kept saying, oh, I think you've got a neurothorax. Me, then wittedly, come on, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm a little as that. Well, my I, grand, I don't know that. My grand wouldn't tell me what it is. And I was like, what? whatever. So, That's my mum scary. comes home from work and takes me to the hospital. And she's like, okay, we're going to get the x-ray. Blah, blah, blah. Went and got the x-ray. I was literally, you know how you have to get changed with the wee ropes? And yeah, that? yeah. And your bum's out? Yeah, my bum's out. I'll always get my bum out. <laughs> oh, I'll get my yeah. bum out for camera if you really want. That's next episode, stay tuned. With the sheep. With the sheep. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I got like. Changed. That's it, we got demonetized yep. just because of that. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, what am I talking about? We're not even monetized. But we're never going to make money. Can we make money? Let's make money. Yeah, but we just, it's not that we want to make money, it's that we just don't want to get banned from YouTube because yeah. that's a thing that people have been getting by just like saying sketched out stuff. Anyway, I, I'm going to imply I'm not going to bum a sheep. <laughs> 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 there will be no interaction with me and the sheep. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, not that desperate, but. Just to, I love how you're like, just to put that out there, by the way. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, go, so on, go on in the story. My bum was Skip. out, I was in my wee robe. I came out the x-ray, got changed, I walked out the door, and the doctor stood there, couldn't understand the words they were saying to me, because, I don't know, he had a really weird accent, you know. Have you been racist? No, I don't know, he was like fo- foreign, definitely, I could not understand a word, right? I think he was like French or German or whatever, right? right. I've got and a German doctor. Yeah, and he kept saying something to me, and I was like, uh-huh. And they were like, we need to operate on you, like now. I was like, what? <laughs> what? I was like, your lungs collapsed. It's really bad. Pretty much my lung had collapsed that way and towards my heart. Right. So the air, there was still an airflow 
in the lung and the air was building up in the one pocket oh. that side of my chest. This makes me feel sick. So man. it's pushing towards my heart. And like obviously my ribs protect your heart, but your lungs and your heart are like you know, they sit next to each other, but yeah. your ribs kind of protect all of it, right? right? So the lung was like pushing in towards my heart and we're like, nah, we need we need to fix that. Because it would send me into cardiac probably. Right. So they operated well, I, I was awake and they had to like pump water into my chest to try and inflate my lung or to get the air out. Pretty much they had to escape the air. Right. So they did that. I was awake the whole what time. What did they do? Like they have to like pretty much stick a big needle into your lung. And suck the air out. And suck the air out and pump water in. Why water? To try and buoyancy type of thing. Yeah, no joke. They put water in my chest. Mm-hmm. It's to try and like boins your lung. Listen, I'm not a fucking doctor, <laughs> right? <laughs> I was enough, absolutely right? off enough. my tits on whatever painkillers were giving me. I was sending Green Day. Right. You know that? I was sending Holiday. Of course you were. That does sound like something you'd do. Yeah, yeah, I was literally sending Green Day the whole time. Just humming away at myself. I think I'd be crying the whole time. My mum was hilarious. laughing at me. Even the doctors were laughing at me because I was just like... It's fleeing. Don't want to be an American idiot. The whole time. <laughs> Don't copyright strike me, please. <laughs> Trust me, they won't know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> you, YouTube's algorithm will be like, yeah. what? The fuck? What was that? <laughs> um, and that was that, right? So like, okay, you can I have to stay in with a mate, blah, blah, blah. I was in hospital for three weeks. It, the lung wouldn't come up. Right. You know, I had them. Um, trying to think of the term to put it. It was fucked. Right, yeah, that, that does right. sound like, like fucked, right. correct term. It was fucked, right. Wouldn't um, inflate. So I ended up having to go to some special hospital in Glasgow and put chest wounds in. I had two chest wounds. What's that? The literal like machines that pump air into you. Right. Had two apps like oh. Uh, how do they get air into you? The machines are like, got fans in them. Basically. Yeah, but how do they get the actual air into you? They, they stick it in your lung. What? It's a big fuck off needle, and they. Uh, is is it? Tom, Tom's doing camera things, as per usual. It came up with a notification, but it's, it says it's still recording. If that's died again, I think I'll cry. If, if it's died again, I think I'm never making another anything ever. Anything ever. Like, not even just I podcasts, bet just anything. Too. I bet you it's been Maybe it is. Maybe you're a bad omen. Yeah. Tell me more. So, um, I don't know. The chest rooms are like... So, yeah, wait, wait. Sorry. These things, like, they jab into your chest. Pretty much, yeah. They into have, your lung. They have to stick a tube into your lung. And it's basically just a fan. And the machines pump air into your chest to te- deflate it. But that wouldn't work. And it wouldn't heal itself. So then they had to, like, inflate it. I had to get operated on. They had to inflate it. That's just where the love for um, morphine started. <laughs> Not really. I wasn't that. I was like, I like the pain colours now and then. But <laughs> it's a long story that. Let's not go into that. Um, I'm not a junkie, and um, they they operated, so they put a like kind of special talc talc on. I have legit no idea what that. Is. It's like a glue, right. and there's like glue in my lung forever now. What to keep it? If that ever was to like wear away, pop. Wait, like, what? Yeah. Wait, I'm not understanding. There's literally like a glue holding my. A big hole in my lung, girl. Basically, and it's not that big, but is that stopping something going into the lung or something coming out of the lung? Stopping something coming out of the lung. What's in the lung? Air. Wait, so your lung still works? Basically, not but very just well. not very well. Yeah, just not very well. It's like fifty percent maybe now. It gets wow. better over time, I think. But originally, when it happened, I was just uh, yeah. You've seen what I was like when I was. I'm still. Yeah, just a banana. Basically. Just like sitting potato. there. potato. Yeah, basically. A boy. Tired a lot. Um, not that that's changed. The, <laughs> that is where the caffeine started. Because I get tired easily. 
So I just started tan account. Uh, I can't speak apparently. You need that but, water in you. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I started tanning coffee constantly because of caffeine and energy. And you know, <coughs> I'm not a big fan of energy drinks. So. Look at that, you went downhill ever since. Mm-hmm. Good thing we have free healthcare, otherwise, you'd be dead. Probably. I nearly died. I was probably like an hour off of it. That's crazy. Yeah. What, what do you think you take away from that? Do you think it was a, a good omen? Do you think you got given good wisdom from it? No, not really. No? Can I just be a big one pair? No, well, I'm more tired. You're not Can thankful that you're not dead? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, wish I did die. You know, the most annoying thing about it was... Burdened with life, man. I was meant to go on holiday, like, a week before. That's no, a week after it yeah. happened. So it was like... I remember sitting, like second day in the hospital like am I going to get out so I can go on holiday and they're like no you can't go on a plane I was like oh man what? like no so I never got on a holiday that was really sad that sucks yeah at least you're alive though yeah <laughs> kind of wanted to go on holiday not gonna lie <laughs> fair enough yeah any other interesting things that's happened to you <clears throat> nope a girl tackled me at football once and it fucked my hamstring Wait, what's a hamstring? Like a leg thing, yeah. That's just gonna be sore. That. That one? Aye. The thing that connects like that to that? Aye, it's your hand. The butt to the inner it's like leg elbow thigh. thing? It's basically your thigh. Right. And you broke it? No, it snapped. Yeah. Snapped? Yeah, they snap all the time. I've never you had... say that all the time. What, that like, I my hamstring? No, insert here happens all the time, but I've never experienced that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you're, you've never really done athletic runs. And by that you mean I never move. Yeah. Specifically from this year. I just yeah. said all day. Fair enough, that is true. I don't do athletic things. So I have not experienced <laughs> losing a lung. <laughs> yeah. That happens to all athletes. I don't know what did it, honestly. Like, I used to go to gym a lot and kind of play football a lot. And I think it was a both. And my build. Exerting your body. I I think I was over exerting myself, but my build will not support that. Because I'm skinny and my metabolism's about the height of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Like, I just, if I eat protein, I burn the protein off. If I try and put weight on, I just burn it off. Yeah. I can eat whatever the fuck I want because of my metabolism. All I'm going to say is when it eventually slows, I will turn into Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> yeah, I think kind of think the same actually. You already are. Yeah, mine's is already turning. Sad. You will get used to this. That I do tend to call Tom fat. Yep. Not uh, not to offend anyone that's fat or be happy in your way, and I support anything your life choices. But for Tom, it's funny. Thanks. Thank you. Triggers him. It's not. It not even triggers me because I I don't like like the idea of being fat is that it's just so inaccurate do you know what I mean like yeah it's like saying oh Tom you have brown eyes I don't have brown eyes it's not true Tom <laughs> what <laughs> you have brown teeth brown teeth brown teeth how did you know They're, magic these are fake. I'm a medium wait that oh well I suppose it kind of does work um so yeah, that's that's. I mean, nothing else to cover. This no. is that segue to the end. Um, well, you have to talk about your health problems. I've just poured this my, is a long episode. I've just poured my fucking heart out. Exactly. So we should save this me for the next episode. Okay. Sheep, naked bums, and <laughs> health issues. <laughs> that's episode two of this. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last thing I actually want to cover before we move on is like what's going on here. Like anyone that's watched the 12 people who have watched the last episode are be like what what's going on in the background here we're making a set we're making a set and it's gonna look good so if you stay tuned by the next time we do like an actual podcast that's an interview we'll have just a saying i'm not making a set i'm taking nothing to do with it ewan's watching but yeah we're making a set or i'm making a set we're making a set there's gonna be a set yeah we're having a thing it's yeah. a thing this is also a band room. Yeah, yeah. kind of. We, we band. Band. We, we jam. Tom's really good at drums. 
but that's it i'm triggered again we're ending this episode but yeah thanks for watching yoon thanks for coming on i'll or, be on all the time uh, yeah, thanks so for to thank me if anything you should thank me for putting i'm never going to get on this again um and i'm okay with that yeah. <laughs> uh, tom's never gonna trust me stay tuned we're gonna have an episode on like the full moldova breakdown if you're interested in that because it is kind of fascinating because it is a weird kind of part of the world that not very many people know about and by that i mean literally no one knows about the only people who were like british that were on that flight was me and lucy so it was like really strange um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do a full episode on that we've got uh the volumes tv or whatever we're working on with that that's gonna come stay tuned for that check out our social medias which are brand new we don't have much content up on them right now if any but uh we're gonna be posting on that also follow both me and you and on all our social medias for like updates we're probably going to do stuff like that on our own social medias um maybe not on my own social media because that's just me drunk but i'll make a a separate one and you can link me up so i can i can put it in the description anything we brought up today will probably be in the description below and if it's not there tell me it's not there and i'll put it there um please comment tell me uh, what you think or just message me directly i know a lot of people don't like commenting and like it and be like oh i don't want to be the first person to comment no one comments so like just message me if you want and tell me what you think we we'll really appreciate it and yeah that is the episode if you want to be on if you want to talk about whatever you want to talk about message me if you want to talk on. about sheep sheep naked bums guy. and health issues <laughs> get on it can we actually get like a sheep guy on a sheep guy to literally like, tell me about sheep everything about sheep like a sheepologist uh-huh the study of sheep is that, that a thing, a thing? <laughs> I think I want it to be. I'm gonna end the episode exactly when we will go. Is that a thing? No, I'm not. But thanks for watching. Are you gonna say thank you? Sheep. Thanks for watching the episode. If you're uh, watching this on YouTube, please remember to like and subscribe. That means a huge amount. And uh, if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, uh, please remember to leave a review. That'd be amazing. And this will be coming soon to Spotify as well. You can check it out. And please remember to check out the social medias for updates and other stuff. And yeah, thank you very much.